All right, well, uh, welcome everybody to uh, East Africa Day here at uh, Leiden University. Uh, it's going to be a day full of East Africana, um, uh, held uh, together with Leiden University and uh, in partnership with the Rift Valley Network. Uh, my name's Andrew Harvey, and this is my colleague Richard Griscom. We're both two newly minted ELDP-funded uh, postdocs here at Leiden University, so you'll probably see our faces around for the next uh, two years. This is a great opportunity to say hello, and we're really looking forward to uh, working with you all uh, over the next little while. And uh, yes, yeah, we're very much looking uh, looking forward to the day. I mean, why is why are we here? Why is East Africa interesting? And I mean, for me. I feel like you know it's a place that's that's diverse and very dynamic, um, and sort of out of this diversity and dynamism, we, we see a variety of different cultural practices and uh, things emerge. Um, and you know, if we try to understand East Africa, it equips us with a wider range of, of perspectives. Perspectives on maybe you know for the fellow linguists in the room on how on how language and communication works. Um, but also in terms of ecology and subsistence models, uh, society, spirituality. We see a kaleidoscope of, of different perspectives on how to structure meaning and how to, uh, how to live and how to assign meaning to, uh, to the human experience. Um, so understanding East Africa is an exercise in understanding different ways of looking at the world. Um, and uh, at this point, it's, it's quite exciting because we have a, a new capacity to understand these dynamic interactions between peoples and cultures in East Africa. We have uh, newly emerging linguistic corpora, so it gives us you know, an opportunity to examine language and examine interactions uh, in a new way. Um, we have, uh, we have uh, beginnings of, of exciting interdisciplinary research. So we have, for example, Martin will talk about his work uh, later on, which incorporates uh, linguistics, it incorporates archaeology, genetics, history. Uh, very, very exciting. So we have we have uh, sort of these new opportunities for very interesting things to occur at the interstices between uh, disciplines that maybe have not spoken to each other enough in the past. Um, and we also have an increase, and, and quite excitingly, I think we have an increased or an increasing number of collaborations with researchers that are from East Africa. Um, and, and members of, of, of uh, East African uh, communities, linguistic communities, and cultural communities themselves. Uh, so, and it therefore allows us to sort of incorporate these emic and edic views uh, in our research and in the ideas that, that come out of that. So I, I think that we're really, you know, we're really at an exciting time in uh, the study and the work uh, in East Africa. Um, because we have these these precious opportunities that are sort of bubbling up now, and, and that's very exciting, I think, for all of us. And uh, I mean, you know, even in the past, Leiden University has sort of been a hub for East African studies. We've seen uh, we've seen this in, in in you know in the institution of Call. I mean, what Call Forty? Next little while, mm. which is all Africa, but of course it's had a very uh, useful place for uh, East Africanists uh, recently. And of course, you know, we have a we have a large number of theses and dissertations on on, on you know East African languages, and we have obviously we have. People like Martin and Sarah and uh, and us two now. Uh, we have Hope Morgan uh, who's working on Kenyan sign language, for example. So you know we've we've a number of champions, a number of people who are interested in East Africa and doing you know sort of world-leading research and work here at Leiden University. Um, so I've I've mentioned that the Rift Valley Network is a co-host, and this is sort of a new network of researchers working to understand the peoples and cultures and histories of uh, and languages of the Tanzanian. Rift Valley, and uh, so basically, what we do now is uh, there's a fortnightly webinar series, there's a newsletter that goes out, as well as a digital bibliography of Rift Valley literature. So anybody who who's interested in uh, the Rift Valley area, sort of this area in north central Tanzania, which we'll probably expand on later on during the day, uh, feel free to contact us, and we can we can add you to our mailing lists, or we can uh, get you. Uh, Situated with some of the resources that we have, which is good if you're if you're just starting or if you're more established. So yeah, uh, you're welcome to uh, to look at that a little bit further. Um, so I don't know if you want to uh, sure yeah. yeah. So uh, as you can see uh, on the the outline of the schedule for today's workshop, we have a uh, a wide range of topics represented in the presentations today, including uh, linguistics research, uh, research in uh, musicology. And then also uh, research in um, in uh, issues related to refugee communities. So we see a kind of a, a wide variety of disciplines, and we hope that this workshop 
provides a platform for a dialogue across those various disciplines. You'll also see that we have presentations from a, uh, a wide variety of presenters coming from different backgrounds, uh, coming from all the way from uh, uh, bachelor's students to full professors. Uh, so uh, we also hope to uh, engage in uh, dialogue across uh, those different uh, categories as well. Uh, I would like to briefly outline the schedule for today. So as you can see, we have a number of talks in the morning and then also in the early afternoon with a lunch period in between. And that is all taking place in this room. Uh, then uh, later in the late afternoon, we will move to a larger lecture hall and we will have four presentations on new research projects taking place in East Africa that are hosted right here at Leiden University. Then afterwards, we will have drinks um, at LUCL, um, and everyone is invited. I would like to uh, thank a number of individuals and organizations uh, for helping to make this workshop possible. Uh, first, I would like to thank Martin Maus, uh, whose inspiration led to the development of this workshop, and also for his support in workshop planning. We would also like to thank Leiden University for hosting the workshop here on their campus. And finally, we would also like to thank all of our participants for coming here today. Uh, I would also briefly like to uh, share some information specifically for presenters. Uh, so today we are recording our presentations. We're recording the slides on the laptop here that is connected to the projector. We're also recording with a video camera and then we're recording using microphones. So when you present, uh, please come and uh, get the lavalier microphone and you can just clip it to your clothing somewhere here near your mouth. And your beard. Near, or near your you know. beard, yeah. <laughs> Didn't want to be that cheeky this morning. <laughs> Maybe later on. <laughs> uh, so if you have any issues with the technology, uh, feel free to come and talk with us. Uh, okay, thank you everyone for coming. I think we can now uh, start with our first talk, uh, which will be uh, Gio and Tim.